welcome everyone, I am C.S. Gilmore and this is Darkest Dungeon. So, we are headed out to collect three medicines in this place. So it's more of a grind session, but at the same time, you know, new material, new quests that I haven't gone on before. Why uh, didn't that give you much. First test. Um, now it must be carried it's a very nice bag. This seems to be the quest item. Vial of powerful medicines, the object of the search. Really interesting looking container there. Um, anyway, the idea behind this dungeon quest is that the there were medicines that were lost at some point. Like people going traveling through here were killed, and so important items were lost. There's a secret room over here, but I'm going to cut down here first to try to see what else is going on in this area, make sure I don't miss any of the stuff I'm looking for, such as, um, well, more of the medicine objects. So I don't know if they're going to bother putting more down in this direction. The map is a lot bigger than I was anticipating it to be, for especially for this sort of setup. Apparently they wanted to do some things a little different. For this one, even though it's a low level dungeon, medium I suppose, but it's still a low level dungeon, yet it's obvious that they would decide to go with a larger layout. Alright, nothing majorly new here. So, I'm gonna cut here, and oh yeah, I should actually, before I go into that, I should point out, I did change some abilities around with the Houndsmaster. Let's give him a biscuit. But I gave him this ability, Hounds Harry, so that he can attack everyone. It doesn't do much damage, but it inflicts bleed attack. So let's give that a try. Oh, decisive it still did a decent amount of damage. Everyone gets two points of damage bleed-wise for five rounds. Three rounds, three rounds. He must have gotten extra because he got hit. I don't know why you gave him extra, actually. I suppose the idea is they hit him twice because he's so big. But... Not quite twice. I don't know. I just don't know how to explain that one. But so far, this is going really easy for me. And yeah, so I'm gonna cut it um, here. I'm gonna keep going down this one area, and then I'll come back when I head. Either if I find a something new, find one of the treasures I'm looking for, or if I by the time I if I haven't found anything down this one path, I've head back and I find something. Um, the enemy crumbles. not something new necessarily, but if I find a, um, once I reach the secret room, I definitely want to show you the secret room. Confidence is a slow and so, killer. yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Right, everyone, I'm back. So, I've gone into the secret room. Let's check out this cool stuff back here. Um, and then I've got, of course, the secret chest. I wonder if all the secret rooms had something like that in the background that I just never noticed. I'll have to go check again, probably, if I really want to know, but... Eh, oh well. These are worth way more than any of these other things. Um... Hmm. Biscuits... can go... Then... I'll hold on to my torches for the moment, just because I don't know if anything interesting is going to come of all this. Just yet. There we go. Okay, so I've got all those, and I want the deeds. I'll switch those out for those. Okay. Awesome. But yeah, that's pretty cool looking. And there's something else I want to show you real quick right back at the beginning. So I'll run over there before uh, closing this up again for a bit. This area definitely takes on a new cast when it's completely dark. One, it's very, very, very just a lot of grays, the colors are very diluted because of the lack of light. It really gives that impression very well too. But also, um, you'll really see that in this next area here, which is why I wanted to show you the opening scene here for the place. As like entering the forest. That would be terrifying to enter. But it's one of those new bits of art they put in, but then I'll lay a torch. And look how much that changes. Okay, it doesn't really get any better because the light level's still low but the, it has that red tinge to it, which actually kind of makes it creepier. I'll hold on to my last torch in case I come across a dark altar. 
But anyway, I'm going to continue on up here now and see if I can find the rest of my quest goals. Um, but yeah, just look at this. How much light level changes the appearance of the game and the feel of it. It's amazing. And I really like that effect. How they've worked this out into the game and being able to have the light level make such a difference not only in the gameplay itself but in just the overall atmosphere of the game. And that's something that is very well done and yet it takes a lot of work to get it done that well. Darkness closes Once again, to the darkness. The hearts of men. The key works, valuable belongings inside. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yep, I think I'm gonna toss stuff for right now. I'm I wasn't even coming here for gold so much as I was coming here for the new quest and for a bit of grinding towards the next boss. So the fact that I got these puzzling trapezohedrons is like serious bonus. I already had I still had like I think twenty thousand roughly around that range when I came in here. Gold wise, so I'm not exactly hurting for gold. But of course maybe I'll end up spending a bunch once I get a few of these people up to le to level up a little bit further. <sighs> anyway, that's how this game rolls. But I wanted to show you that. The new stuff here with that. Um it's also got a self heal thing which is actually pretty good. Um, so yeah, and that's it for new abilities I really gave him. Character-wise, other characters I kept moderately the same, pretty much, for the time being. But, I don't know, it's just so well done with this game. I like it. Ah, bother. Um, hmm, I'm trying to think what else I should cover here. Oh, just notice that this is called stave off sickness. Makes sense. You're finding medicine. Continually onslaught. And destroy. Hmm, I'll have to pay more attention and see if all those other quests are named different things or not. It's very interesting. Hopefully this will finish her. Good. Maintain the offensive. And Oh. I didn't notice those statues before. Um that's kinda creepy. It's like Weeping angels, anyone? Like, seriously. And a more direct attack does a bit more damage, I think. Yeah, because it doesn't have the damage modification that removes damage from it, like some of the others do. Hoo <laughs> yeah, he wasn't gonna survive that no matter what. Okay. Move on, thank you. There we go. Okay, so it's a little slow there. Um, or is it merely a uh, trick of the light? Da, da, da. Eh, I'll just keep going. Yeah, those are creepy statues. Creepy, creepy, creepy creeps. And I'll just camp in here. That'll open up an area of my inventory. Actually, probably two areas because I'll use some food. Just a little bit though. Nothing a major. Well, okay, I won't open up another, but I'll use four. That way I'll have some in case they end up eating again. Um, characters here... I know he's got this that prevents nighttime ambush and increases my scouting chances. And... That one also prevents nighttime ambush, but I don't see a point in doing two of those. This one... I'll do to him, then... Uh, there should be some stuff here. To help reduce stress. Let's see. Well, I'll use this on him at least. And he can't do that unto himself, but okay. So yeah, got all my characters pretty well taken care of. The way is lit. Awesome. The path is clear. We require only the strength. Let's see to what lies it. ahead. Get an idea here. Curio, battle, battle, quest. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna cut it here, and I'll come back when I get to that quest item. And then we'll press on from there and see what it looks like. So, see you in a little bit. Hey everyone, I'm back. 
Uh, apparently, I was not—I wasn't gone nearly as long as I mentioned. In fact, I just stepped through that door, and that's because I wasn't expecting to run into one of these beauties. And this is why I held my torch. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is a f normal level dungeon, like beginning level dungeon, so nothing new, which I was hoping it would be. I was hoping for something new so that I could show you that, but. Honestly, the fact that I'm still running into one of these is still pretty up there on the... Don't doesn't happen very often. List of things, and he can't do much of anything. Uh, pass. Okay, I've got to get this guy back up here further. But at the same time, how best to do this? Oh, no, I didn't mean to... Ah, I didn't mean to push that. That's a bad way to start. Abdorius Advance. That's a new attack. One I hadn't seen before. Also, apparently, it has a lot of costs. At least I don't think that's one I've seen. Yeah, that's one I hadn't seen before. So, that's cool. I'm gonna have him move back this time. Just because that way he's out of the way of these two and they can actually do their job. These creatures are so funky. The funny eyes that don't really blink, but they blink just in their own little way. And all the little funny mouths that kind of like hands, but not really. They're very, I think they, they seem to have taken a lot of inspiration for these things from the, from a something sea related, like sea life. I would Another say just because I don't know, they're just very aquatic in appearance, like an enemy, or some corals. Which also really fits the Lovecraftian theme. Another one falls. Yeah, these things die really easily for my characters who are, you know, up a level, more than just the beginning levels, and so they've got decent weapons and armor. Dazed, reeling, about to break. Yeah, not nearly as bad for these guys. and. They're doing so well, I figured, yeah, it was safe to jump into this altar compared to trying to do otherwise and, you know, go on ahead like I did that one time and finish the dungeon and then come back. I wanted to make sure I got this one because it's an interesting setup and there's a good chance I'll get some really cool item out of this that I wouldn't be able to get otherwise. Come on, let me go. Thank you. They don't have great bleed resist. Let's try this. Out. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, I know I'm taking a little bit of a risk by not healing right now. But I want to try to do a little more damage before I start healing. I'll probably start him healing people on the next turn. Uh huh. So, how does this work if he's already got a full revenue of people? Doesn't do anything new? Okay. He's inflicting a lot of status effects, and I don't have stuff to cure that. Ah, bother. Okay, this is not going so sweet at the moment, just because of that failure to kill that. Um, what would work best? Let's try something else here. I'm gonna try knocking this one back if that'll work. Yeah. Okay, now that provides me with a much better layout for hitting everyone with everyone's attacks. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Ouch, these things are hurting me a lot. I wasn't expecting these little guys to do so much damage, but it really shows that they have... Oh dear, he has quite a face there. But it really shows that they have a lot to them. Like, they have a lot more potential. You shouldn't underestimate an enemy in this game. And more bleed attached, everyone. Seems to be the most effective way of for sure hitting everyone. Even if it only worked on the little guys this go around. I'll take care of them, which means he can focus on healing. Like that. Perfect. I love this background though, like, the, the most backgrounds are stationary, 
This one goes to a whole new level by being this swirling vortex of the stars and ooh, all sorts of stuff. It's very Lovecraft. Especially if you consider like this would be the, maybe the center of the universe, in which case it would be also very Lovecraft in the sense that I believe he had a design in which at the center of the universe there was some sort of demonic thing, like dumb, blind, deaf, demonic monster creature at the center of the universe. I don't know, it's just really an interesting concept and setup that Lovecraft used for his world design. Slowly, Perfect. Gently. This is how a life is taken. And yeah, that took care of those two without them being able to hit me, and he didn't replace them because he already went. Of course, he'll replace them in a minute after if I don't kill him fast. But that's how this game rolls. Once again, and he only has 18 hit points, so I have a good chance of killing him. Yes, your skin does burn. I see that. Hit him. With the sheer amount of bleed damage I've done, I've got on him now, he should hold up pretty well. I mean, he should go down pretty quick, even if one of these guys misses or something. And there he goes. No intrinsic merit, unless inordinate sanguination be considered a virtue. So here we go. Ancestor's tentacle idol. Idol. Plus 25 virtue chance. That is so worth it. You take that. Um, in case you didn't know, virtue chance is like you know when like he went and be had that one problem, he became abusive. Um, virtue chance is the opposite of that. When they hit their stress limit, they have a chance of having it go uh, go in a good direction, where they actually become kind of stronger for a, a little while. And so that's really awesome having something that increases it by 25% chance because that thing like virtues don't happen often they the thing with virtues is they are rare you're far more likely to get a uh, a affliction of abusive uh, masoch masochistic other things like that so that's really cool I was glad I was able to get something new like that so it does, once again, brings further questions into the picture as to how entirely Satan your ancestor was to begin with, because a tentacle idol, and it's like, okay, ancestor had some issues. My guys are really beat up though from that fight, which is why eh, it was a risk. Maybe I won't finish this dungeon at this rate. I don't know. But I'm going to cut it here, and I'll come back when I get to that next quest item, or I decide to give up and go back to town, though I don't want to do that. So I'm going to see what I can do. The bigger the beast, oh, that certainly the helps. The glory. Alright, I'm back again, everyone. We got the next bit of our quest taken care of. Leaves only one more to go. The question is, am I going to be able to find it before my characters succumb to their injuries and their stress and I need to pull back to, in order to save some of them alive. Um, let's just boost everyone's resistances for a little bit and I'll switch that out. I like deeds. I'm getting a lot of them this quest run and I'm gonna need them though just because the blacksmith is a pretty high level now and so to get him so to get the blacksmith up another level takes so much in fact to get a lot of buildings up in level now requires so many resources just because they have progressed it so much um, from their initial starting positions that's why I'm glad I kept my shovel because that will have caused more stress damage more damage overall uh, I'm not gonna dig for that just because I don't have another shovel and which means more likely than I'll end up getting make one of my characters sick or something. Which is the big issue with trying to dig into one of those graves without a shovel. Okay. Quest location. Oh, it's all the way at the end. Seriously? Ah, <sighs> and three battles. Okay, everyone. Well, 
you know what the items look like now, and you have a good idea of how this game plays, and everything else is going well. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it here, and I'll yeah, and I'll get back to you at the town unless something new pops up. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in just a few minutes moments for you, few minutes for me. These tonics and herbs will stave off infection and neutralize contagion. Alright everyone, I'm back. So, made it through. It was a rough fight near the end. I nearly lost a couple of people and everyone's not doing so good on stress. Made a ton of gold though on this quest. Got a lot of deeds. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do I think everyone's now level 3. Awesome. That's gonna cost me a lot to give them... Uh, he's got rabies. Mm, I'm gonna have to deal with that. I have so many things to have to deal with uh, with some of these people, um, disease and everything wise. But stress is my primary concern at the moment. Uh, otherwise, yeah, things are going well. Got through that quest, got all the medicine. And yeah, got the Ancestor's Relic, which by the way did pay off. It, um... The preponderance of rare and exotic injuries makes this place perfect for the study of suffering. Huh. Okay, this is a new one. Uh, Caregiver's Convention. Among the visiting delegation are experts in corporeal and cognitive, cognitive disability, as well as several forensic specialists. Treatment ward and medical ward is free. Okay, maybe I'll postpone my tra treatment for uh, stress on a few people to get those taken care of because awesome otherwise that's a nice little setup I like how they do little art differences for some of the events but otherwise things are going well and I'm trying to think but yeah this definitely paid off for the plus 25% virtue chance because he got super stressed and he ended up getting the a virtue instead of a, a affliction and his virtue was I believe it was focused I'm not entirely sure what I did. I think it made him more accurate and everything. Plus, everyone, so at least once he uh, boosted, he gave a buff to someone else for their accuracy and something else. I forget what. But yeah, so it's definitely there's some bonuses that came with that sort of thing. Um, increased number of treatment ward slots. Now well, I'll do that. There we go. Might as well get this taken care of while everything's free. Um, the question is, what do I want to treat everyone for? Um, first things first, the illnesses. Um, I think I want to definitely get this guy in because... Oh no, not this guy. The other one with the rabies, I want to get him in. And there are some other ones here I'll probably toss in for other things. So, by the way, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to edit this out a bit to cut out some of those areas. And... I don't know. I hope it'll be a nice, easy flow and a uh, good experience for you when it's all done. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Hit like, hit subscribe, and keep coming back for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.